Uh, we're gonna hit the road. We've got about a five hour drive ahead of us. We're headed up kind of east of Cleveland. So we're gonna take you along for the ride and you can kind of see how a moving day goes. two hours oh, hour and yeah. a half yeah. and came across this travel center welcome center once we got into Ohio Ohio about 20 miles past the border um, it has it's a truck stop it's a car stop it's an RV stop um, they have like a, a hundreds of truck places to park overnight they have like what 15 maybe um, RV hookups with electric uh, there's no water out here or anything but it's kind of nice that they have this available. We're just gonna park here. I'm gonna run in and grab some lunch. They have like a food court inside. We're gonna grab some lunch here and then head on the road to Eastern side of Ohio. <laughs> One thing that we absolutely love about traveling in an RV is the ability to stop and set up like this just for a little bit. Uh, even if it's just to get some food or today, like it was really cool this morning so I put on jeans, uh, but now I've switched to shorts. Uh, you can't really do that under normal circumstances, but when you travel with your house, you can pretty much do whatever you need to wherever you are. It's a really nice amount of flexibility that we get from doing this, and it's something we appreciate sometimes. They had a food court. What'd you get? Uh, I got some burgers. They have chicken fries at the Burger King. Tara and I are having pasta and stromboli. All right, let's do it. I got a stromboli. of following the rules and doing things the right way even if it's not always necessary but we think that's necessary so even when we stop for this little like lunch stop we still make sure that we're level um, we still make sure that we're level so we can open up the slide because we don't want anything to ever be wonky and Brian did hook us up to power we wanted to make sure that the refrigerator was working right and you just want to be consistent with how you do these things We're gonna roll up here. Um, there's a, a very clean dump station. Even though the next um, the next campground that we're going to supposedly has full hookups on all sites, uh, we're gonna go ahead and dump. You know, just to get the weight off the truck as we're uh, as we're driving, because we're probably carrying 20 or 30 gallons, and uh, that's eight pounds per gallon. So um, I like using these gloves. These are uh, fully waterproof. Uh, reusable gloves. Um, the other gloves, you're just constantly throwing them away and those are gross. Uh, so I've got these, they stay clean. I wash them with soap and water every once in a while. <clears throat> so basically, so this RV, there's a, a, a little tube under here that stores, I call this hose number one. This hose has my clear connector so I can see what's going on. And uh, also, 
I always use this one. Sometimes I need longer, then I pull out those two and three. Uh, first thing I do when I'm dumping is I make sure all the valves are closed because we've actually had uh, some, I'll be nice and call them idiots, uh, go around and pull valves on campers while they're in a not full hookup campground. Uh, so just make sure all your valves are in and hopefully there's nothing hiding behind here because behind here is the, the way you get to the three tanks. So you open this guy. There's always going to be a little bit of water. Put that guy on. And then this little 90 degree doodad here gets the pipe down into the dump. times <clears throat> a lot of times at dump stations there will be bricks or pavers or stones or something heavy to you just kind of lean it on there just to keep it down because when you <clears throat> when you open your tanks there's quite a bit of force that's going to be coming out of here so here we go always do black tank first and then you use the other two tanks to flush the rest of that through the pipe pretty simple you just pull it and watch <laughs> We've been driving with this tank <clears throat> with uh, contents. So it's been sloshing around real good. It should be all broken up pretty well. It sounds like it's coming out pretty fast. And you're never gonna get a full flush unless you use something like a, a wand that you put down the toilet with the hose attached, or if you have a system like the sprayer that we have. We have a cyclone built into our black tank. All right, so the black tank is done. Uh, so I went ahead and closed that and I just pulled what we call gray two. We have two gray tanks. This is the tank that uh, the sink in the kitchen goes to. Gray one is up front and the shower and the bathroom sink go into gray one. Uh, the washer and dryer also goes into gray one. Uh, so I do gray two first when we're out dumping uh, because the water doesn't come out as hard. So it's kind of a good first flush. Then when I pull one, because it's coming from farther away, it kind of runs downhill and it really like blasts into this hose. So I do gray one last, so it's kind of a more forceful flush. All right, so as you saw in our RV tour part two linked up above here, uh, this is our Nautilus system. And just below our Nautilus panel, we have the valve for gray one. So as soon as gray two is done emptying out, like when it gets down to a trickle, uh, we'll go ahead and close two and then I'll open one and uh, we'll make sure to get some footage of like what I was talking about how hard that one blasts into that tube. <clears throat> So as you can see, that comes out with a lot more force than gray too. That's why I do that one last. It just kind of blasts through there and gets any little particles out. Plus gray two has food in it, you know, from the sink. We, we have a strainer in there for the bigger pieces, but stuff always gets through. So uh, presumably one is just shower water and bathroom sink water, so it shouldn't have much in it. So I like using that one last. Okay, gray one's pretty much empty, gray two's pretty much empty, black tank's pretty much empty, so we're good to go back on the road. We just dumped a lot of weight down that hose, so that should help with gas mileage, wear and tear on the tires, and all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up gray one. I just push on it, <clears throat> and it's connected somehow down in there to a gate valve that shuts on the tank. So I'm pretty much done up here, except I need to put my gloves away. But before I do that, uh, I need to get the hose off tighten everything back on here and then I'm going to show you how I use this green hose over here. Uh, all, almost all dump stations will have a hose that's here. It's not for filling your tank, it's for flushing your hose or cleaning any messes you make. So I like to use it to flush the hose because when we're at a full hookup campground, I don't have a hose to do that. So I can use that to just blast some water through and make it even cleaner. Even though I just closed all three tanks, I check them again because the last thing I want is anything from that black tank coming out when I pull this off. So it just turns off. Ugh. And then when I'm gonna use the hose to flush, I just kinda, you know, lay, lay it here, uphill. And then this guy twists back on. Ugh, that's it for that. So now I'm gonna take this, 
I've got this green hose here. I'm just going to kind of put it in here. That's why we wear gloves. I wish you could smell this. All right, so that's all done. Now, ugh. so the reason we call these things stinky slinky just for fun is because they expand and they contract. So I know slinkies don't do that, but on the inside, it looks like a slinky. Uh, you remember those toys we used to get like at McDonald's, the little like, you know, with the coming Happy Meals and you kind of pull them and put them back together and stuff. That's, that's what this reminds me of. So I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> So that guy just slides right in there. Uh, a lot of other people, uh, you can buy these and attach them to your bottom of your RV. Uh, we've seen people with, they'll put like a, a four inch square fence post on their bumper and they'll use that to store the things. Uh, we've also seen people use like pieces of gutter that they put underneath and then it works as like a little tray and stuff. So there's all sorts of ways to do this. But ours came with this, so I use that. I got my little accessories box put away. So now we take the gloves off, one glove off, grab the other glove with the back of the first one. And then I never touched anything. And then I've got some, uh, what we call sanitizer up here in the door of the truck. So I'll use that when I'm done. Okay, moving day is over. We are at our site at Kennessee Lake RV Resort. Uh, it's a thousand trails, another one. Uh, but we have full hookups and 50 amps this time, so we're gonna get all of our laundry done. Uh, we're all gonna take showers, get nice and clean, nice long hot water showers. And uh, we're gonna make some pot stickers for dinner and call it a night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, visit us at 5 togocom and join our family on Patreon. Thank you, say bye-bye. 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 Yesterday, there was some